Imagine planting by the lunar cycle, sowing seeds when the moon is just right. But what does this really mean? Well, let's start with the basics. The moon moves through a series of phases in its lunar cycle, each holding its own significance when it comes to plant growth. This cycle starts with the new moon, a phase characterized by darkness. As the moon begins to wax, it slowly reveals a sliver of light, marking the start of a new journey. The waxing moon phase is a time of growth and expansion, making it ideal for planting seeds and setting new intentions. As the moon continues to grow, so do our plants, absorbing the moon's energy to fuel their development. Then comes the full moon, a time of abundance and fruition. This is when the moon is at its brightest and most powerful and our plants respond to this energy by blossoming and bearing fruit. As the moon begins to wane, moving towards darkness once again, this waning moon phase signals a time of decline and rest. It's a period for us to harvest what we have sown and for the plants to recuperate. Each phase of the moon holds a unique power over your garden, guiding when to plant, transplant, and harvest. So as we journey through the lunar cycle, we're not just observing a celestial ballet, we're tapping into an ancient rhythm that can help us cultivate a more bountiful garden. Moon gardening isn't a new age fad. In fact, it's as old as agriculture itself. From the dawn of civilization, people have turned their gaze skyward, looking to the moon and its phases for guidance. And when it comes to planting and harvesting crops, the moon has been a steadfast companion. These early agricultural societies followed the lunar cycle, observing the moon's phases and aligning their farming activities accordingly. From the ancient Egyptians to the Mayans, civilizations around the world recognized the moon's influence on their crops and incorporated lunar phases into their agricultural calendars. Take the ancient Egyptians, for example. They were among the first to formalize the concept of moon gardening. They observed that seeds germinated more quickly and produced healthier plants when sown during the waxing phase of the moon. This observation was so influential that it was incorporated into their agricultural practices. Similarly, the Mayans, renowned for their advanced astronomical knowledge, also followed a lunar agricultural calendar. They believed that the moon's phases influenced the growth and productivity of their crops. This belief was so deeply ingrained in their culture that it dictated their planting and harvesting schedules. Closer to our times, even the Farmer's Almanac, a trusted guide for many gardeners, includes lunar planting dates, attesting to the enduring belief in the moon's influence on plant growth. So, you see, moon gardening isn't a flight of fancy. It's a practice steeped in history, rooted in the observations and experiences of our ancestors. It's a testament to their ingenuity and their deep connection with nature. From ancient times to the present, the moon has been a faithful guide for gardeners worldwide, and with every lunar cycle, we're reminded of this enduring bond. A bond that transcends time and unites us with the generations of gardeners who came before us. Do you think moon gardening is just folklore? Well, science might surprise you. Let's dive into the scientific aspects of lunar gardening. The moon, our constant companion in the night sky, has more sway on our gardens than you might think. Its gravitational pull, the same force that causes the tides in our oceans, also affects the moisture in the soil. During the full moon phase, the gravitational pull is at its peak. This increased pull raises the water table, providing more moisture to the soil surface. This extra hydration is beneficial for seed germination and encourages growth in young plants. On the other hand, during the new moon phase, the gravitational pull is at its weakest. The water table lowers, and the soil isn't as moist. This period is ideal for plants that prefer drier conditions like root vegetables. This gravitational dance between the moon and the earth is a subtle rhythm that influences the ebb and flow of moisture in our gardens. But the moon doesn't just tug at our soil, it also affects plant growth in more direct ways. The light of the moon, especially during the full moon phase, can stimulate photosynthesis in plants. This lunar light, although dimmer than sunlight, is made up of the same spectrum of light that plants use for growth. So, the moon not only provides a physical influence through its gravitational pull, but also a biological one through its light. This synergy of light and gravity creates a unique environment for plants to thrive in, an environment that changes subtly with each phase of the moon. And while these effects might be subtle, they can have a considerable impact when amplified over an entire garden or a growing season. Science gives us a deeper understanding of the moon's influence on our gardens, making it more than just a beautiful nightly spectacle. Ready to try moon gardening? 
let's walk through a lunar month in your garden. To begin our journey, picture the new moon, a time of darkness and fresh beginnings. This is a period of rest and preparation. While the moon is invisible in the sky, it's the perfect time to maintain your garden. Pull out weeds and prepare your soil for planting. As the moon transitions into the waxing phase, it's time to start planting. The waxing moon is when the light increases, making it the best time to plant leafy greens and crops that grow above ground such as spinach, lettuce, and tomatoes. The increasing moonlight encourages the growth of the plant foliage. Next, we reach the full moon. The moon is at its brightest, and the gravitational pull is strong. This is the prime time for planting root crops and bulbs like carrots, potatoes, and onions. These plants benefit from the increased moisture in the soil during this lunar phase. As the moon begins to wane, the light decreases and the gravitational pull lessens. This is the period for planting perennials, trees, and shrubs. The decreasing moonlight and gravitational pull allow these plants to focus energy on root development. Now we've come full circle to the new moon again. Remember, it's a time for rest and preparation, setting the stage for the next lunar cycle, but wait, there's more. Moon gardening isn't just about when to plant, but also when to harvest. Generally, it's best to harvest leafy greens and above-ground crops during the waning moon when the plant's energy is focused on the leaves and fruits. For root crops, harvest them during the waxing moon when the energy is directed into the roots. With these simple steps, you can align your gardening with the lunar cycle fostering a harmonious relationship with nature. Don't just take our word for it. Hear from gardeners who've seen the moon's magic in action. First, we meet Sally from Maine, a seasoned gardener who was skeptical at first. She tells us, I thought moon gardening was just an old wives' tale, but I gave it a shot. And wouldn't you know, my roses have never bloomed so vibrantly. It's like they're touched by lunar magic. Next, we hear from Tom in Colorado, who shares his experience. My vegetable garden was struggling. I heard about moon gardening and thought, why not? I started planting by the lunar phases and my tomato plants exploded with fruit. It's hard to believe, but the results are right there in my garden. Then there's Maria from California, who decided to give moon gardening a shot with her succulent collection. I've always had a green thumb, but when I aligned my planting with the moon cycles, my succulents flourished like never before. It's truly fascinating. We also hear from Jack in Florida, who was already a successful gardener, but wanted to push his limits. I thought I had gardening figured out, but moon gardening took my skills to another level. My citrus trees are more productive and my flowers are more vibrant. It's been a game changer. These success stories show how moon gardening can turn a good garden into a great one. Moon gardening isn't just about better crops. It's about a deeper connection with our natural world. Imagine harnessing the same celestial forces that govern the tides to cultivate a more vibrant, fruitful garden. We've seen the transformation, the dramatic before and after visuals of gardens flourishing under the moon's guidance. So why not give moon gardening a try? The moon is more than just a pretty face in the night sky. It could be your garden's best friend.